All right, so now we want to find out what is specific weight. Well, first of all, here's a table. This is a typical table you'll see in a fluids or a thermodynamics textbook. Probably won't be handwritten, but you have the same information. Uh, so we'll have different fluids here, uh, given with uh, atmospheric pressure and associated temperature as well. You'll notice that uh, the density of water at 10 degrees Celsius is a little bit different than the density of water at 20 degrees Celsius. So these things change. If you have a solid, uh, they're generally a lot more consistent than these. But anyways, uh, so we have density, that is mass per unit volume, so kilograms per cubic meter. Uh, that's our density, and our specific weight is just weight per cubic meter, or weight per volume. And the only difference between mass and weight is you have to multiply mass by the acceleration due to gravity to find weight of anything, right? If you think, uh, you remember from uh, statics or something, we'll have weight is equal to mg. Same idea, we have mass here, and we just want to change it to uh, weight. So what we do is we take your density, which we have units, are kilogram per cubic meters, uh, and we want to multiply by acceleration due to gravity, so that'll be 9.81 meters per second squared. So we'll just use the units. So we'll have meters per second squared. When we multiply these together, and you'll notice if we have a kilogram meter per second squared, that's a newton, so this is all equal to newtons per meters cubed. So that's two different ways to look at it, um, but that's what our specific weight is, just weight per volume. Okay, so all we have to do then is we just multiply our density times uh, acceleration due to gravity and that'll give us our specific weight. So again, another way we can look at this is we have here for one last thing to look at. If we have kilograms per meters cubed, that's equal to mass over volume, right? And if we want to find weight, all we have to do is multiply this by g. So then we'll have mg over volume. Uh, and mg will give us the units of newtons, as we found over here. So we'll get newtons per meters cubed. And that's these guys. All right. Hopefully that's pretty straightforward. So if we're given density in a table, you uh, in your test you'd be provided a table like this on your test, so don't worry about that. And they're in the back of the textbook. So we just take density times 9.81 meters per second squared. We can write it like that. And that's going to give us a specific weight of water at 10 degrees Celsius of 9,810 newtons per cubic meter. Same thing, times 9.81 meters per second squared. Uh, when water is 20 degrees Celsius, you'll notice it's a little bit less dense and it'll its specific weight will also be a little bit less. So we'll have about 9,790, that's a zero, newtons per cubic meter. Okay, same thing, we'll look at air. We have density of 1.2 kilograms per meter cubed. Uh, you'll see that's a lot less dense than uh, any of these fluids, other liquids that we have here. So uh, if you multiply that times 9.81, you get 11.77 meters, uh, newtons per cubic meter. And lastly, the one we'll just look at here, mercury, its density 13,550 kilograms per cubic meter. All you do, again, just times it by 9.81 uh, if you're using SI units, and we'll get 132,925.5 newtons per cubic meter. So that's all specific weight is, and we'll use this we'll use this letter gamma and specific weight lots in uh, upcoming tutorials, but uh, it's pretty simple. If you can find out what the density is from a table, you can easily find out what the specific weight is.